Hello, YouTubers. Well, uh, my computer recently just uh, broke down, so uh, and uh, it's the power supply uh, because the computer. Um, I checked the temperatures on the computer, and uh, it's not overheating or anything. So uh, the RAM and the CPU seem to be fine, um, and the only thing left is the power supply. Why the power supply? Uh, because um, during a uh, high end lo uh, load. Uh, the computer will tr automatically turn off. And so, I have in here a new power supply. And I'm going to go through how to put, uh, how to open, I'm going to do this unboxing video and I'm going to go through how to put one in into uh, my computer. So, what I've ordered is uh, basically a Corsair TX750. So, um, it's one of the better power supplies uh, rated on uh, certain uh, PC magazines and um, it's also it's a it's made by Seasonic so uh, and they have a pretty good reputation so I'm gonna open this up and uh, show you the unboxing video of it all right so I've just taken it out of the box and you can see all that packaging in there this thing is pretty heavy um, I'm not kidding here it's heavier than my um, my old one. So, uh, as you can see, it is a Corsair TX750, uh, and it is. I'll show you the specs on the back here. So, the box, and there is the uh, 20 to 24 pin connector. Uh, that is the 8 pin. Um, these, that's Molex, and that's a floppy power connector. I think it looks like a SATA, I'm not sure. So, um, but yeah, I'm gonna put this in and here's the output ratings. I don't know if you can see that. And this is supposedly uh, rated as a 80 bronze, basically just meaning it's uh, very power efficient. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do the unboxing and uh, put it into my computer here. So just bear with me. So, uh, if you look at it here, it does come with a five-year warranty, and I did find that. There it is. It says 80 bronze, basically. So, um, and just means more power efficient. Now, this is a little weird. Um, if you see this, this is the serial number sort of thing. It says void if removed. Well, it's on the outer packaging, so I have to remove it. So, um, I guess uh, that's pretty, that's uh, interesting. All right. I'm just going to unbox this right now, so. All right, so I've opened the plastic off there, and we're going to take it out of the box. Uh, all right, I got it out of the box there. And let's, uh, where is it here? All right, there we go. And some manuals here, warranty guide. Oh, this is pretty well packaged. And some phone packaging. Ooh, and lots and lots of wires. So, uh, this is gonna take a look at this. And, oh, it comes with a little bit of um, so zip ties, so that'll be handy when I uh, put it in the computer and have to manage all these cables. I don't know if you can see that. There's a lot of cables. So, and it comes in this nice big bag here. So, I don't know if you guys can get some light on this. So there is yeah a little pouch that you can use um, and. All these cables. So, I'm gonna unhook the pouch. Ooh, it's a nice, it's a nice pouch actually. So, I might use that to hold certain things. 
cables and stuff. Yeah, oh, look at that. Yeah, nice little Corsair pouch. So, all right, here's the power supply. And yeah, there we go. Nice little matte finish on this too. So, a nice large fan. I think this is a. 135 millimeter or 140. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. So, um, but yeah, and I'm just gonna there you go, and a whole bunch of wires, and they seem to be pretty long here. So, and my next video, I will uh, after the break here, I'm gonna bring my computer and start putting it in. So I'm gonna be putting the power supply into this computer. So hopefully you can see that. So here's the wiring. Um, so we, here's uh, actually some pretty good cable management, but I gotta fix that all up. So that's the CPU. That's the power connector. So this is gonna take a while to do. So all right. So basically, what we're gonna start off with is um, always. If you have a static guard, you can always use that static guard, the wrist strap, or just touch the metal so you ground yourself. And then um, basically you take these four screws out, unplug everything, and make sure you remember where to put it back in, and then just put the new one in. So, so I'm going to start taking this out, just unscrew the four screws here. Be careful when you do this. Um, make sure you ground yourself so you don't, because you're going to be taking this out, but you'll be touching certain components into the computer. And uh, you might s cause some uh, damage to some of the some more sensitive components. So, uh, we see, see these power cables? We're going to have to unplug it on the side there. So, um, there's going to be some sort of uh, cable management you'll have to do at the end so to make it look good and you don't have a full bunch of cables all clumped up and helps with the airflow so to keep the temperature down in the computer or else it'll burn out quicker. So basically you toss it on the side and you, once you do that this will be movable but as you can see I can move it right now, but I have to unplug all the other components first, okay? Okay, so I just removed the power supply, so you can see all the wiring, cables. Um, so what we want to do is put it back into its place, plug it all back in, and I'll show you where all the plugs go in after. Um, yeah, so if you look at this, this is the old power supply here. So this is that 24-pin connector, which is what powers your motherboard. And the, even even some of the plugs will say the labels on them. So this is your video card cables. So, and these two are for the CPU. And hold on here, uh, the four pins. Here we go. The basically the CPU. See that? Um, but yeah, you want to plug it in all in the same spots. Your SATA power cables here. Okay. So, and this old power supply is probably not too good anymore so and the fan is actually much smaller than the new one that I got so and this is these are the old specs on the old one so some sort of no name brand I don't know what it is so okay so here's the new power supply as you can see the fan is much much bigger on that and I'm gonna start screwing it in make sure it's nice and snug and basically, you want to separate a whole bunch of cables here. See that? For your own cable management, uh, it's gonna, you, want to, you don't want to prevent airflow at all. So because you, if you heat these things heat up, you're going to basically burn them out quicker. So um, yeah, so separate these and get the most airflow as possible. And then basically use the zip ties that came with it on them. So technically, um, uh, make sure you, you know it would be better if I placed this on you know the hardwood here, but uh, 
the lighting is better under here, so that's why you do it. So make sure you ground yourself and start plugging away at it. And you and I'll show you where the cables will be at the end. So all right, I am done putting it together. As you can see, I'll PCIe and did a little bit of cable management, but it's a little bit messy still. So what I did with the whole bunch of the wires is I actually threw it up here underneath the uh, above the power supply here. Um, it's not blocking the fan, so the fan's still good there. And yeah, I'm just gonna wrap this one around here. Those zip ties come in handy, so. Um, As long as it doesn't block too much of the fans, you're okay. And with the, some of the PCIe cables, I wrapped it around the back there and threw it up to here. So everything is all plugged in and it's all ready to go. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't usually make videos like this, but uh, I thought I would. So uh, not too bad to plug it in. So. If you have any questions, uh, post a comment below or uh, and uh, or uh, send me a message. And uh, if you have any other questions, let me know.